Streptococcal pharyngitis is characterized by fever, sore throat, tonsillar exudates, and tender anterior cervical adenopathy. Other common symptoms include difficulty in painful swallowing, headache, nausea, fatigue, and abdominal pain. Cough and corza do not usually occur in patients with streptococcal pharyngitis and would suggest a viral etiology. Frank exudates are not specific to streptococcal pharyngitis as they also occur in patients with infectious mononucleosis, adenovirus pharyngitis, and a variety of other etiologies. Prior to administering antibiotics to adults, the presence of group A beta hemolytic streptococcus must be confirmed with a rapid antigen detection test. In adults, a negative rapid antigen detection test does not need to be followed up with a culture unless they are at high risk for a serious infection. In children, a standard throat culture is the preferred initial test because the rapid antigen detection test lacks sufficient sensitivity to be relied upon. However, if a doctor decides to begin with the rapid antigen detection test in the pediatric age group, then a negative test must be followed up with a culture. If empiric antibiotics are initiated while waiting for the results of the culture, then they should be discontinued if the culture does not grow group A streptococcus. While the antibiotic of choice is penicillin, alternatives for allergic patients include macrolides and clindamycin. Antibiotics are given to prevent the spread of the infection and to prevent a variety of superative and non-superative complications. While it is effective in preventing rheumatic fever, the effectiveness of antibiotics in preventing post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis is still undetermined.